An Alameda County judge has ruled that AC Transit enter into third-party talks with union leaders in order to try to reach an agreement on a new contract. During negotiations, union workers are not allowed to strike. Crown Forest Reggie Kumar tells us if they're willing to go along with that. Union Local 129 workers say they're happy the judge ruled in their favor and is requiring AC Transit to negotiate with an arbitrator. Union President Claudia Hudson says the judge didn't decide whether AC Transit was allowed to impose a contract on its employees. We got a victory. We wanted, the union wanted to go to interest arbitration. And so he made the decision that AC Transit is compelled to go to arbitration. It has nothing to do with the concessions. It has everything to do with the district having the majority of the operators work a 13-hour day for eight hours pay. We're going to try to go in court on Tuesday and get a restraining order against the imposition that AC, that AC Transit has imposed. AC Transit says it wants to reach an agreement on a change in work rules relating to overtime. The transit agency also wants union workers to contribute to their medical coverage. The judge has ordered both sides to agree on an arbitrator by July 23rd if they can can't, both sides will have to submit a list of potential candidates by July 27th for the judge to determine the arbitrator. The new contract AC Transit imposed on all of its union workers goes into effect on Sunday. Hudson says the traveling public doesn't have to worry about bus service. All workers will be on the job. In Oakland, Reggie Kumar, Cron 4 News.